Hi, welcome to another screencast video of Algodox. In this video, we will demonstrate rule-based data extraction from a single-page invoice document. Particularly, we will extract invoice number, invoice date, bill to, account number, customer purchase order number, and all the item lines. So let's begin. As the first step, we create the extractor. Let's name it one page invoice and choose a sample document. We start by adding a field for invoice number. Since invoice number is a field, we select field or text to table option, which is a rule-based method for extracting data. In the extractor editor, we have specified start and end position filters added by default, which we remove because we will use another filter that is called advanced keyword-based search. This filter allows us to search for the value using phrases and indicate the position of the value. We add the last filter for removing trailing blank spaces. Finally, we name the field and save. We continue with invoice date field, for which we can duplicate invoice number field. Now, we click on invoice date field to adjust it for capturing the invoice date. We need to apply some changes in advanced keyword-based search filter. Since the data we need to capture is the date, we change the data type to date and change search phrase from invoice number to invoice date. By default, the format of the capture date is year, month, day. We can change the date format to some other format we need, for example, day, month, year. Here, we don't need remove blank spaces filter so we remove it. Next, we continue with account number field, for which we again duplicate invoice number field. In advanced keyword-based search filter, we change only the search phrase, For customer purchase order number, we can duplicate either invoice or account number. Just like in the case of account number, it is enough to change only the search phrase. Now, we continue with build a field, for which we add a new field. Note that we don't duplicate any of the existing fields, because build a field is going to have a bit different approach and will use different filters. To capture build to part, we may select an approximate region for it. When moving to filter section, we can see that the raw data section contains data from the selected region only. In order to get the bill to field properly, we need to add some filters. We begin by adding specify start position filter to get everything after bill to phrase. Then we add specify end position filter to get everything before account keyword. Now, we can remove line breaks and then remove multiple blank spaces. Next, we will add a table for extracting line items. 
This time, we select a table option, which lets us place column separators on our table. We remove Keep Rows filter, which is added by default. As we can see, the raw data section contains tabular data divided into columns according to our column separators we placed in the previous step. Now, we add Keep Section Filter by choosing with Condition option, which allows us to define the beginning and the end of our table rows. Our table begins after the keyword product in the first column of the table, and the table ends with the phrase, Thank you, in the first column of the table. We exclude conditional rows since we don't need them. We add Keep Rows filter to get rid of empty rows. Additionally, we can add another filter to remove trailing blank spaces. Now, assume we wish to include all these fields as new columns for every line item. Therefore, First, we add a new column to the table. And then we add another filter to fill the cells of the newly added column with invoice number field. And we repeat this for remaining fields. When auto fetch option is checked, filters are updated on every adjustment, otherwise filters are updated when a new filter is added. We have added invoice number, invoice date, account number, and customer purchase order as new columns to the beginning of all items. We can add the build a field to the end of the table. Next, we can format number columns of the table. When this filter is added, the cells of an exported Excel or JSON fields will be formatted as numbers. Additionally, we can change the number of decimal places. Finally, we can set the column headers.
Let's go to Extracted Data section and see what we have as an output for the created extractor. As we can see, all created fields are captured successfully along with the items table. We can export extracted data to Excel. The header fields on the top are unnecessary, since we added them into the items table. Therefore, let's hide them. This can be done in the settings of the extractor. When we return to extracted data section, those fields will not be shown, but they remain in the items table. And this time, our exported Excel contains items table only. Since our extractor is ready, we can upload hundreds and thousands of files in File Manager or use integrations for automatically importing them to AlgoDocs. For any questions and support, please contact support at algodocs.com. Thank you for watching.